I'm Ella and I'm the Plant Snail and I'm here today to talk to you about tips and tricks to keep your pets safe from plants and your plants safe from pets. <laughs> so the most important thing you have to remember is height. So I say this because height has literally changed my life in terms of plants. So when I collected non-toxic plants in the beginning, I wasn't too worried about where I placed my plants and honestly, it gave me a lot of heartache to see my plants in a certain kind of state. Also disclosure here, but you shouldn't let your plants even bite non-toxic plants because you still don't know how your particular cat is going to react to that plant. Because of that, I wanted to keep my plants safe and my cats safe. So I started kind of consciously and subconsciously developing methods in order to do this. In this category of height, there are so many different things you can do. So first I have floating shelves. For instance, I utilize the mantle above my fireplace. I have some plants there. My cats just can't get to them, which is fantastic. Then I have a shelving unit above my sliding glass door, which is great because it's so high up. I can put trailing plants there. And even as they grow, they're not going to be able to reach them because it's just such a tall of a space. Then I have some floating shelves just tucked into some nooks and crannies. So I'm actually creating more storage place for my plants while also protecting my cat. Then we have the typical ceiling hangers. So we all know the macrame hangers that just hang from the ceilings, which can look really awesome. And obviously your pets just can't reach them. Now I would not recommend this method at all if you have it in your furniture because then your pet could probably just hop on there and do the bad thing. <laughs> So if you don't like ceiling hangers, you don't think they're tasteful, or you just want to come up with a different method because we need more methods for storing plants, I would recommend a wall hanger. So what a wall hanger is, is you can get them a macrame style too if you would like. So there's one specifically made for this. You can make them, you can buy them, but generally speaking, if you put them on the walls, they look just as cool and they're not taking up your ceiling space all around your house. <laughs> and also we have so much wall space, like come on, you know how many plants we can put around if we just utilize our walls. <laughs> so if you don't like the macrame look, another alternative, if you like a more blended look, is to actually use these little circular metal hangers. So what I do is just drill them straight into the wall and just stick the pot in them and it looks so clean. It's a very beautiful look and you just look at it and you just see plant. You're not distracted by any type of hanger, which is really fantastic. And you can create a lot of beautiful pieces this way. So just think about all the different shapes or patterns that you can make with these kinds of hangers or all the placements that you can find around your place to actually just put them in. And they're in such a high place that your pets can't reach them, which is A+. plus. So the next tip I have is plant stands. So you see a lot of cute short plant stands are just chill on the ground, but tall plant stands, guys. So <laughs> get something with some height that your animals just can't get to. But not just stands, you can also get tall pots. So there's a lot of different types of pots you can get. And some of them look, I don't know why, but they give me Beetlejuice vibes, the ones I've seen, because they're really like tall and kind of rectangular with a flat bottom and they kind of just generally creep me out but they also look freaking elegant and classy so then there's also display cabinets we all have plant display cabinets i feel like we do at least so a lot of the times you got to think about how to prevent your pet from jumping up on those shelves on your display cabinet the method that i like to utilize is clustering so i just put a bunch of plants on one shelf usually in a really articulate design or something that i think is preferable or palatable to me and i think it's really enjoyable if you don't want a bunch of plants in one area i recommend a large cash pot so put a plant that's in a small pot in something larger and actually you'd be surprised how good it can look so if you don't want a cluster you don't want a large cash pot i would I would recommend decorating your shelf with intricate objects so you can put unique items here in order to just decorate the shelf which will actually look really cool and unique and if it's a bookshelf make it a bookshelf with plants just do something interesting and unique to you and something that you're gonna really like and that's gonna keep your plants safe so let's say you have a display cabinet and the top shelf is something you also want to utilize. If it's secluded, you generally don't have to worry about it. If there's furniture right next to your display cabinet, what I would recommend is a large object. So usually what I put here is either a large non-toxic plant, or you could also put anything decorative there. And usually when a cat sees something like a large object in their way, they generally second guess jumping there. So you're pretty safe. Now this is only applicable to flat surfaces. If you have something here, like my bed, <laughs> then you're pretty much going to have to utilize the clustering, cash pot, or various objects method. So we've talked a lot about 
open display cases. But what about an enclosed display case? And you can get one of those greenhouses for indoors and you can get cheap ones, but there's a lot of ones that are cute because I personally don't want to get a plastic one, but they're really expensive. I actually just went out to Ikea and I got a glass cabinet for my higher humidity plants because with, within the gas cabinet, if I just cluster them together, it's generally 10 to 20% higher humidity in there without me running anything, which is pretty amazing. So not only does it look really beautiful, clean, elegant, and keeps them safe, but they're actually healthier for just being in there, which honestly is a complete win in my opinion. So let's say you have some shelving units that are near furniture. You're not worried about the tops of the shelves, but you're worried about your sides and your pets are just kind of nibbling in there like throughout their levels of your shelves and you just don't know <laughs> what to do about it, how to prevent it. A large object isn't always going to be enough. They can reach around it. It's obviously not going to prevent them from jumping probably onto the shelf, but they can still reach around and get something. So for the side parts of your shelves, what I have done is from my metal units, I actually went to my local Lowe's and I bought some plexiglass and they actually custom cut it for me. That way I could gorilla glue it onto my cabinet and my pets can no longer just reach and nibble on the plants on the side. They're completely enclosed which is actually fantastic for my shelf, which is right next to the bed, because they used to always jump on top there and just kind of reach in. And now I don't have to worry about that at all. I don't have to worry about the top because everything's clustered. I don't have to worry about the sides because it's completely closed, which <laughs> saves a lot of grief. So beyond enclosed display cases, utilize your no pet zones. So over here, <laughs> I have my kitchen countertops, which my cats never go on to, specifically the ones behind me. So I keep my ZZ plants there and I don't have to worry about my pets being hurt by them. So if all else fails, you just can't keep your pets away from your plants. Your last resort is a closed plant room, guys. So what you're just going to do is pick a room in your house, keep that door closed, your plants in there, and that's pretty much it. Initially, my plant room was a closed plant room, but I kind of uh, locked my plants, my, <laughs> my cats in there accidentally. So there is now a cat door there that lets them out, but not into the plant room. So if I do lock one in on accident, they can still escape. But honestly, I've also set that room up in a way where they just can't get to the plants that can hurt them. So I'm not too worried about it, even if they are in there. So I really hope these tips and tricks have helped you. If you like this video, please like down below. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video.